What if I told you the James Webb Telescope just found something in space that shouldn't exist? And not just one or two, but multiple structures like that. Six massive galaxies were recently discovered by NASA using data released from the James Webb Space Telescope. Scientists are confused because they might just need to rewrite the textbooks. Let's take a look at what they have discovered. Number one, massive ancient galaxies. In an otherwise ordinary background, six bright red spots of light were discovered by the James Webb Telescope. These are no ordinary spots. They are actually some of the earliest and largest galaxies ever found, dating back up to 13.3 billion years. These six spots were so red that they must have formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. From what scientists previously believed, these structures couldn't even have formed back then. Experts used to think it took a lot longer for the first stars and galaxies to form, but in reality, these ancient galaxies were already massive and bustling with star formation just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. One of these universe-breaking galaxies is a trillion times more massive than our Sun and ten times the size of the Milky Way. This discovery has somewhat disturbed everyone because the universe didn't begin like we thought it did and the dark ages for the universe may not have been so dark after all. Number 2. New Finds in Exoplanet Molecules For some reason, astronomers have been obsessed with finding an exoplanet, and among many candidates, there's K2-18b, which has life. Why is that? Well, for one, they found water vapor in its atmosphere, and quite recently, James Webb found carbon-bearing molecules like methane and carbon dioxide. So yes, K2-18b may have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and water oceans, perfect conditions for life. Wait until I tell you that there was even a detection of the compound dimethyl sulfide as well, and guess who produces that on Earth? Just living organisms. I'm sure you're smart enough to connect the dots here. Number 3. Origins of the Cosmic Web Astronomers using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope also spotted 10 galaxies arranged like a string just 830 million years after the Big Bang. That's like finding a childhood picture of this universe. But why is it a big deal? Because these galaxies couldn't even have existed back then from our current understanding. It looks like our previous understanding was pretty inaccurate. This structure is about 3 million light years long and is anchored by a superbright quasar which is a galaxy with a giant black hole at its center. This line of galaxies might grow into a huge cluster of galaxies like the coma cluster we know in our neighborhood in the universe. Number 4. Early Supermassive Black Holes You probably know that black holes grow in size by consuming passing stars and clouds of gas and dust. Thanks to James Webb, scientists have now captured supermassive black holes lurking in the early universe even when they haven't had much time to feast on their surroundings. In fact, it also captured the most distant black hole ever seen in X-rays in a galaxy called UHZ-1. The mind-blowing part is that UHZ-1 is a solid 13.2 billion light-years from Earth, meaning we're watching the black hole as it existed just 470 million years after the Big Bang. This black hole has an estimated mass between 10 million and 100 million times the mass of the Sun, which is downright unbelievable when you consider that it's comparable to the total mass of all the stars in its host galaxy. Number 5. Horsehead Nebula The Horsehead Nebula, also known as Barnard 33, is about 1,300 light-years away. Thanks to the instruments on the Webb Telescope, astronomers have been able to see the small-scale structures of the illuminated edge of the horsehead for the very first time. It formed from a collapsing interstellar cloud and gets its glow from being illuminated by a nearby hot star. The gas clouds around the horsehead have mostly dispersed, but the iconic pillar shape is made of dense material that's hanging tough. Astronomers suspect that the horsehead has around 5 million years left before it starts to fade away. Now, astronomers can track how dust particles are being swept away from the cloud as they're evaporated by UV light and then create some really complicated patterns. Number 6. The dust left by a supernova. Then there's Copia A, the aftermath of a star explosion 11,000 light-years away, which happened around 340 years ago in the Copia constellation. We can still see its remains today. Astronomers are particularly transfixed by the warm dust, which plays a huge role in forming planets and life. Most of this kind of dust is believed to come from the heavy elements thrown out by supernovae. Because of James Webb, we can now see the tiny fragments of this debris made up of sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon. 
all glowing in beautiful orange and light pink hues. The dark gaps you see in the image are caused by those tiny fragments piercing through the gas, leaving a cosmic trail of bullet holes. And as if that's not amazing enough, we can even see light echoes where the original light of the supernova gets absorbed and reprocessed as infrared light by the space stuff around it. Number 7. A Star Forming Region Then there's the Serpent's Nebula, which is about 1,300 light years from Earth. This area, which covers about 16 trillion miles by 11 trillion miles, is where many young stars are taking their first breaths. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope found many unusual things in this nebula. Thanks to it, they found aligned protostellar outflows, basically jets of gas expelled by newborn stars interacting with the surrounding gas and dust. These outflows are all aligned in the same direction, which has never been seen before. Not to mention, it also brought forward the Bat Shadow, a planet-forming disk that looks like it's flapping. Impressive, isn't it? Number 8. Unseen Features in the Milky Way's Heart We're getting a lot more information about our galaxy center, all thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope's near-infrared camera recently captured the most detailed image of the Sagittarius A asterisk region, which is around 300 light-years from the Milky Way's central supermassive black hole. In this image, we can see about 500,000 stars, so it's no surprise that some truly mysterious structures have left astronomers scratching their heads. I'm talking about some needle-like structures in ionized hydrogen that seem to defy all known patterns and are much bigger than the scientific community initially thought them to be. That's not all. A cluster of protostars, stars that are still in the process of forming and gaining mass, was also spotted. Number 9. Jumbo If you're into space, I'm sure you've heard of jumbos. No, not the sandwich, I'm talking about Jupiter-mass binary objects. These wild, free-floating planetary-mass binary systems in the Orion Nebula are about 1,350 light-years away from us. James Webb found around 40 of these jumbos, and they're like nothing we've ever seen before. Each one has two parts, kind of like a double-planet situation, with masses ranging from 0.6 to 14 times that of Jupiter. They're not tied to any stars. They're just out there on their own. Astronomers used a super-powerful telescope called the Carl G. Jansky Very Large Array to pick up radio waves coming from one of these jumbo systems called Jumbo. The radio signals are steady and come from both parts of the binary, and it's honestly quite shocking because these jumbos shouldn't be able to form or stay together as binary systems. Number 10. Analyzing Star Formation Analyzing star formation in depth, scientists have always been curious about how stars form. Stars form in dense clouds of gas and dust, and usually, dust blocks most of the visible light so we can't see much. But that's where James Webb comes in with its infrared radiation that cuts through the dust and lets us see all the never-before-seen details. Particularly speaking, there's the Aoki complex, which is only 390 light-years away from us. The telescope captured a frozen-in-time explosion featuring around 50 young stars, many of them about the same mass as our sun. Without James Webb, you'd be as good as seeing a black image. What blows my mind the most is that the telescope's images have also captured dozens of young low-mass stars along with the high-speed streams of gas and particles they emit, lighting up surrounding clouds of molecular hydrogen, number 11, circles of the Ring Nebula. Then there's the Ring Nebula, also known as M57, in the Lyra constellation. We all know it's one of the coolest planetary nebulae out there, and it's not too far from us only about 2,500 light-years away. The James Webb Telescope has truly blown everyone's minds by revealing some awesome details about this nebula. The ring itself is made up of about 20,000 clumps of molecular hydrogen, and the inner region is filled with superhot gas. The main shell has this thin ring of carbon-based molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. That's a mouthful, but it just means there's a ring of enhanced emission from these molecules in there. What sets M57 apart in the images are these 10 concentric arcs beyond the main ring. Astronomers think these arcs were formed near the dying star when gas interacted with a smaller companion star. As this little companion star moved through the gas ejected by the dying star, it created these ripples in the nebula structure. How cool is that? Number 12. Record-breaking distant galaxy. In 2023, because of this telescope, Scientists first spotted the most distant known galaxy, and it broke all the records. It was named Jade's GSC 13.0, 
and it's not your average discovery. First off, this galaxy is shining incredibly bright, which is rare for something so far away. Even more fascinating is the fact that its predecessor, Jade's GSC 13.1, came into existence 320 million years after the Big Bang, but this one is even older. Spread over 1,600 light years across, the light is primarily coming from young stars rather than a growing supermassive black hole, so the galaxy is several hundreds of millions of times the mass of our Sun. Also, there's the presence of oxygen in the light emissions. If you're not sure what that means, let me tell you that multiple generations of massive stars had already lived and died by the time we first saw this galaxy. Number 13. A Super-Earth Scientists have also found a new planet called TOI 715b, 137 light-years away, that may be just right for life. It orbits a star that's smaller and cooler than our Sun, called a red dwarf. This type of star is known for hosting rocky planets and is our best bet for finding places where life could exist because red dwarfs are smaller and cooler. Planets can orbit closer to them and still be in the habitable zone where conditions might be right for liquid water. This new planet, TOI 715b, makes a complete orbit around its star every 19 days. That's super fast compared to Earth's year. The good news is that because of this speedy orbit, Planets like TOI 715b cross in front of their stars more often, making them much easier to spot. There's even a chance that there's another Earth-sized planet in the same system. Number 14. The Ghostly Jellyfish Now it's time for my favorite one. Scientists recently discovered a gigantic jellyfish in a faraway galaxy cluster called AEL 2877. This cosmic jellyfish is over 1 million light-years wide and can only be seen in a narrow band of radio light. Scientists think it might be a radio phoenix. It's bright at regular FM radio frequencies, but at 200 MHz, the emission disappears. This makes it the largest structure of its kind ever observed in such a specific frequency range. Basically, it's born from a big explosion like a black hole outburst, and then fades over millions of years before being re-energized by another cosmic event like a galaxy collision. This causes it to glow brightly in certain radio frequencies while disappearing in others. Number 15. Orion Nebula Scientists using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope also found a new carbon compound called methyl cation in space for the first time. This molecule is quite a big deal because it's the one that creates more complex carbon-based molecules, which are a must for creating life. They spotted this compound in a young star system called D203 D506, about 1,350 light years away in the Orion Nebula. The star system where they found it received strong UV light from nearby hot young massive stars, which would normally destroy complex organic molecules. But surprisingly, the team believes it might actually help create methyl cation. Once formed, it can then promote the formation of more complex carbon molecules. Number 16. Ice Volcanoes The dwarf planet Ceres, located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, has a volcano on it. That's right, it's not a regular volcano that erupts fire and lava, though. This one is a bit different. Quite the opposite, actually. It's called a cryovolcano. Instead of erupting hot molten rock, it's thought to erupt frozen substances like ice, salts, and other materials. And that, too, while Ceres was thought to be a dead world, geologically speaking. So the fact that it has a volcano, even a cryovolcano, is quite unusual. But this type of volcanic activity, where frozen substances are erupted, has also been seen on other moons in our solar system, like Enceladus, Europa, and Triton. Number 17. Comet which sprays alcohol across space. If you don't know about Comet Lovejoy, you need to. Comet Lovejoy was especially interesting because it was one of the brightest and most active comets in a long time. It passed closest to the sun in January 2015, releasing water at a rate of 20 tons per second. However, scientists recently discovered that this comet has been pouring a lot of alcohol and even some sugar into space. At its peak, the amount of alcohol it released was equivalent to at least 500 bottles of wine every second. Some alcohol lovers might have a field day if they could get to it, but this discovery also tells us that comets might have carried the stuff necessary for life to emerge on Earth. Number 18. The Galaxy's Hidden Protective Barrier Did you know that the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, acts like a massive particle accelerator, 
shooting out beams of charged matter called cosmic rays into space at almost the speed of light? Scientists recently discovered something interesting about these cosmic rays near the galactic center. Despite the abundance of cosmic rays coming out of the center, there seems to be a mysterious barrier preventing a lot of them from entering the center. Scientists think this barrier could be caused by a complex mix of magnetic fields associated with a supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy called Sagittarius A-star. Number 19, Water on a Star System. The James Webb Space Telescope also found water vapor around a young star system called PDS-70, which is still in the process of making planets. This is a huge deal because it's in the area where rocky planets like Earth usually form. PDS-70 is about 5.4 million years old, and before this discovery, we thought it didn't have much water because of the strong star radiation. However, the telescope found hot water vapor at a temperature of about 330 degrees Celsius, not too far from the star. Now scientists are trying to figure out where this water came from, and they think it could be forming naturally within the star system or might be coming from icy dust particles that move inward from the cooler outer part of the system and turn into gas near the star. If we find planets there, they could have water from the very beginning. 